Hey guys, in today's video we have the Orca Torch SDO3 Dive Beacon Light. If you don't have a dive beacon or you missed my last dive beacon light giveaway, stay tuned for your chance to win one. The Orca Torch SDO3 featured in today's video is courtesy of Outdoor Equipment Expert. If you go into the description section down below, you can find a link to the Orca Torch SDO3 on Amazon. So what makes this beacon light different from other ones on the market? Well this actually has 8 different modes you can choose from. So if you twist the head right here, it gives you a flashing light. Twist it again, you actually get a constant red light on. If I twist it again, I get a flashing red light. And then if you twist it again, you get a different color. So you get a constant blue, a flashing blue. Then it goes to green constant, and then green flashing, and then back to white, and then white flashing. Now keep in mind that this light is flashing and it's not a strobe. While using this light, I want to mention that it has more of a glow. And in my testing, I found that it was not super bright while being submerged in daylight or low light condition. But it would definitely be suitable for night diving or nighttime activities in the salt water. If you're on a kayak and you want to add a little bit of safety and have a light on all the time or a flashing light on your kayak, or you're doing some nighttime paddle boarding or early morning paddle boarding and the sun is just starting to go up, uh, this adds a little bit of safety to that. The light itself is well made and it feels durable. The weight of the SDO3 comes in at 50 grams or 1.76 ounces. The length of the SDO3 is 3 inches. Like all the other Orca Torch products that I've reviewed so far, it does have a depth rating of 150 meters or 492 feet. This dive beacon light uses one AA battery, which is pretty convenient because you can get AA batteries anywhere. The max runtime is stated to be 250 hours. I've only used mine for 2-3 to three hours, but I didn't notice any change in the strength of the light. Overall, I really like this light. I find the aesthetics to be really nice. And I like the fact that you can change between different colors while you're submerged. Some other lights on the market are only just one standard light. And then if you want a different color, you have to buy a different light. I do like the fact that this one actually lets you change your colors. So normally I'm not a huge fan of rotary switch lights because it takes two hands to operate the light. But given that this light has so many color and light options, it makes sense. The choice between constant on and flashing is a really nice feature to have. Now a little bit about the giveaway for this light. These giveaways are free but I do ask that you support the channel by subscribing. Building this channel helps to get products to test and ultimately those end up being giveaways for you guys. Now, if you're interested in entering the giveaway for this dive beacon light, go ahead and leave a comment down below. It's as simple as that. At the end of the month, one random comment will be chosen and I will reply to your comment saying that you're the winner. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. If you already have a dive beacon light, share this video with a friend or family member who might want this light. The holidays are coming up and this will be a great gift. Well, that about wraps this one up. Good luck, stay safe, and you'll see me in the next one.